total the figures. You'll arrive at my net worth. The banker smiled back and shook my hand. This is just one instance of how magnanimous and wonderful, grounded and rooted this phenomenal human being is. I have to share with you all that I've known the Khan family for over a decade. And each time I have been invited to their warm, hospitable home, I have felt nothing but love, respect, and um, a great sense of familiarity. Uh, and the best thing about my evenings at the Sanjay Khan household is our special time together, Sanjay Uncle, when we talk about politics, history, arts, and cinema, and you recite your incredible Urdu poetry. So thank you for all those moments. And now it's time for your eyes only tonight, a short film on Mr. Khan's journey, the man, the actor, the hero, thoughtfully and meticulously put together. Let's take a look at what it's like to be Mr. Sanjay Khan. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I won't say too much. All I can say, I'm married to a very special man who has taught me never to say die. And whatever we've gone through, we've come out uh, being winners. And he is a very special man. I love you, darling. Uh, we met at a very young age. I was only 14 and he was almost 18. Can, and it was love at first sight. It's still there. All the best. <laughs> Dear friends, good evening. Thank you for being here with us this evening. I would like to read an excerpt from this book, an episode which changed our lives forever. This passage from the book is post my father's fire accident. Well, Dia tells me that the passage reading is for later, so excuse that. I'm just going to say a few words on my father. <laughs> to my father, Mr. Sanjay Khan, a self-made man, brave and fearless, having withstood and overcome several challenges in his life, and with each setback only emerged stronger, wiser, and even more determined. Papa, I respect you for your integrity, your undeterred spirit, your passion for life, and your discipline. For being a man of honor who always kept his word, your support and influence has encouraged and inspired me through many trials. I feel fortunate and privileged to be the daughter of Zareen and Sanjay Khan. Thank you, Mum, for being the anchor of our family. No words can accurately capture or describe my immense love and respect for both of you. Thank you. Good evening, friends and respected elders. The book being launched today is a window into the life of an extraordinary man with a unique journey. I have been blessed to know him intimately and my frequent interactions with him have left me convinced that his success comes from immense ambition and extreme drive to never stay still, to never be satisfied. His journey has been one of great dreams and achievements. It has been punctuated with a variety of challenges and huge tests, but I can assure you there's never been a slowdown and he has never been a taker. My frequent and intimate conversations about India and his beautiful family 
Rarely does beauty inside manifest itself so well outside. Made me discover that he is sensitive, always a giver, and a true Indian hero. Movie stars are always magnified beyond reality. But this book provides us with an amazing opportunity to live the journey of a movie star, a filmmaker, a truly secular human being, and a real patriot who always wanted to deliver excellence, impact, and contribute to his country. Thank you, Papa, for being a mentor and a hero in my life. Thank you, Ajay. Thank you, Simone. Uh, I would now like to request Farah and Akil to please join us on stage to speak a few words about your father. Thank you, Dia. Uh, you know, uh, Akhil doesn't have a speech ready, but <laughs> firstly, I want to thank all, all of you who've made your special time to come here because it's a very important um, time and occasion for my father. I would like to say a few words for him, um, and I want you to know um, some things about my father that um, it's not visible to many people, but it's important that you all know. My father has been my pillar of strength and the man with the tenacity of a tiger and an indomitable willpower that never gives up against all the odds. But what's worth mentioning about this very strong man is his very soft, generous heart. And that is, what, that is charitable beyond words. Never have I seen someone who extends so much of largeness of his heart, even when he has very little at times. That, my father's words, ring true to me even today, when he said to me growing up, humanity should be our religion, charity our ritual. I am blessed indeed to have parents who stressed in the importance of relationships over materialistic means, because Relationships can never be replaced, but material things can be replaced. To the man who stressed on honesty, respectability, integrity, commitment to one's word, humanity, charity, and more, thank you, Papa, for being my guiding star. Your life's teachings have made me who I am, and I'm grateful for that. I wish you great success on your book, and all I can say is that you have a, had a remarkable life with amazing stories. I'm proud to be your daughter. Thank you. I, I don't have a speech prepared, but all I want to say is I know Papa from about 25 years, and he's a truly a rock star, and he's a great man, a lovely person, and I wish him all the best for his book. Thank you. Thank you, Akil. Thank you, Farah. Susan, it's your turn now, so come up here quickly. Unfortunately, Hrithi couldn't be here with us tonight as he's shooting in Portugal, but I know he's here with us in spirit, as Susan will convey. <laughs> so I am not really good at reading or reciting, so I designed the stage <laughs> and I put together the decor of this place tonight because I love you Papa with all my heart and I, I am very blessed to have you and I feel that I think that we all are brave hearts thanks to you and thank you for being in our lives I love you too much okay <laughs> Before we go to the youngest members of the family and the most cherished and loved, <laughs> I'm going to invite another beautiful lady here up on stage. Lela, will you please join us to say a few words about your uncle? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm so proud that 
I have a cha-cha like Mr. Sanjay Khan, who is like my father. He is the head of the family today, after my late father, who was snatched very early. And I miss him dearly today. I wish he was here. But I feel so proud that my illustrious, wonderful Chacha has documented his life in this book, because that says a tale. My father and he came to Bombay from Bangalore. They lost their father when they were very young. They came here without any godfather, without any friends, without any mentor. They only came with dreams in their eyes and courage in their heart. And look what they've achieved. That's not easy. You know, um, this is going to be an inspiration, this book, my, my son and Zan and all uh, us cousins, our children are going to read and this is going to, be, this is going to be an inspiration for them in their lives. So something like this is so important and that's why I feel so proud and honored to have a cha-cha like Mr. Sanjay Khan. We love you and Here's to celebrating our life in every way and being good human beings. Thank you. Good evening. From the heart. It was absolutely from the heart. You almost made me cry. Thank you, Lela. Really, that was so beautiful. Zaid, Malaika, it's your turn now. <laughs> Please come up on stage.